I'm hanging out at Dorothy's military shop in downtown Oceanside, and the place is bustling. Young Marines from nearby Camp Pendleton cycle through the shop, buying military gear and picking up their dry cleaned uniforms. Among them is 22-year-old Jesse Leonard. I've been in the Marine Corps for four years. Leonard is a regular at Dorothy's. In fact, he bought a new pair of pants here just the other day. He needed to look crisp and clean ahead of an important meeting. I had to go to the quarterly promotion board just to um, see if I'm recommended for promotion. The good news? Leonard was recommended for sergeant. The bad news? The pants cost him way more than expected. The purchase overdrew his front wave credit union checking account, resulting in a $20 overdraft fee. By the time Leonard realized what had happened, his checking account was negative nearly $200. He understands his finances are ultimately his responsibility, but he would have preferred if Frontwave simply denied the purchases. I got into the Marine Corps right after high school. I did not have a lot of life skills that I was taught, so budgeting has been a new thing, so I'm trying to be better financially. If I would have known that I was overdrafting my account, I would have switched over to my other card that had the money in it, you know? But for Frontwave, these fees are built into their business. The credit union has more than 120,000 members, and the majority are Marines and their family members. A KPBS investigation found Frontwave has an exclusive agreement with the Marine Corps that funnels recruits into the credit union when they go through boot camp in San Diego. Frontwave then handles their direct deposits during training. And when a young Marine runs out of money, Frontwave profits. The credit union collected nearly $8 million in overdraft fees in 2022 according to the most recent data gathered by the state. That represented 12% of the company's overall revenue that year, which is significantly higher compared to other credit unions in California. Now, Frontwave defends its overdraft policy. Meanwhile, the Marine Corps declined multiple interview requests, but in an email, a spokesperson said recruits can use an existing bank account when they enter boot camp. But that's not what we heard from the Marines we talked to. They kind of sit you in a room at MCRD and uh, they make you fill out all this paperwork and they don't really tell you what it's for. Andrew, another Marine I met outside of Dorothy's military shop, asked that KPBS only use his first name. He says he wasn't able to use his existing bank account for direct deposits when he went through boot camp in San Diego. After a week or so, you get your front wave card and they're like, this is the account you're going to use. They kind of force you into that account. Roughly 21,000 recruits come through boot camp in San Diego every year. The Marine Corps couldn't provide data on exactly how many are enrolled in Front Wave. But KPBS spoke to three former Front Wave employees who said the systematic sign-up of Marine recruits was essential for the credit union. Without the recruits coming in, I don't know how well the credit union could survive. This former Frontwave employee agreed to sit down with KPBS, but requested we conceal her identity due to fear of professional consequences for speaking out. She says Frontwave relies on overdraft fees as a revenue stream. So a lot of times the younger Marines would spend money and not realize how many fees they could rack up. They'd be three or four hundred dollars in the hole, but we needed the money that, that was brought in by their overdraft fees. Our investigation found Frontwave has collected more than $33 million in overdraft fees since 2017. The former employee said she started working at Frontwave because she wanted to help members of the Marines. But over time, she saw the credit union stray from that mission. But I, I don't think they're doing a great service for the military anymore. Frontwave CEO Bill Burney acknowledges that overdraft fees are an important source of income to the company, but he bristles at any suggestion that Frontwave is taking advantage of Marines. I'm a retired Marine Sergeant Major. I love Marines. I, there's no way that we would ever get involved in being predatory when it comes to those people that dedicate their lives to serving our country. Burney notes that the Marines enrolled in Frontwave are typically younger and lower income. However, he says the credit union provides them financial counseling during their training. Moreover, he argues the company's overdraft program is a benefit 
It allows them to buy essentials if they run out of money before their next payday. We call it a service. We don't call it a fee. It's not a junk fee. Some people, many people actually, are using this as a bridge. And I think we're providing the service that, that provides, that gives them what they need to get through their, to get through the month. Yet some experts who study personal finance in the military say Frontwave's overdraft practices may fit a troubling historical pattern. Military service members have long been targeted by payday lenders and unfair banking practices. A lot of these folks are um, young. This may be their first checking account. They may not really understand how these things work. Susan Weinstock is the CEO of the Consumer Federation of America. She previously studied the negative impacts of overdraft fees on members of the military and found the penalties weigh heavily on the most vulnerable soldiers. Uh, we want to see service members treated well. They're putting their lives online for our country. Um, so the idea that we would take advantage of them is, is, is just painful. Scott Rod, KPBS News.